In this video, we'll talk about sketching a quadratic function. A quadratic function is just a function where the polynomial, you see, the highest degree is a 2, x squared. And it could be something looking like this, like a parabola, or it could be down like this. All right? So the two arms will be up or down. The first thing we're going to do is determine whether those two arms are up or down. If this coefficient to the x squared is positive, the arms are up. And as we can see, it's positive, so I'm going to do this. So we already know the shape of this graph. It's going to look like this. The two arms are going to be up. Second thing, we're talking about the vertex. All right? To find the vertex, your x, y coordinate of the vertex. The vertex is the absolute lowest point on the parabola if it's like this. Or it's the absolute highest point if it's like this. So in this example, it's going to be the absolute minimum point, the lowest point on that parabola. The equation here for the x coordinate is negative b over 2a. What's b in that? a is the coefficient to this x squared, b is the coefficient to the x, and c is this number at the end. So a is a 1, there's a 1 in front of there, b is negative 2, and c is this negative 8. So that's a, b, and c. And so let's find the vertex. We're going to do negative b over 2a for the x coordinate. All right. That would be a negative, negative 2, all over 2 times a, and 2 times 1. And then we'll take this value, some fire, and we'll substitute it back in to find the corresponding y value. And negative times a negative 2 over 2 times 1 is just the number 1. So this vertex, all right, negative, negative 2 over 2 times 1, is just the, you know, the, this, just the 1. Now we got to do is substitute the 1 in here for x to determine what y is. 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 8, that's 1 minus 10, which is negative 9. So there's our vertex. All right, that's a negative 9 once we plug it back in. I'll plot that. Go over 1 and come down negative 9. Go down 9 notches. That's actually, yeah, the paramount point to that quadratic function. And from that point, the arms are going to turn upward like this. Third thing we'll do is find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, set x equal to 0. All right? Set x equal to 0 and solve for y. So to find a y-intercept, set x equal to 0 and solve for y because any point on this y-axis where the graph crosses, x is 0. We set 0 for x, x, 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 8. We get the y value negative 8. Yeah, in fact, it's just that last number, c. So I'm going to plot that. Here's the coordinate. 0, negative 8. So we can see this parabola forming. This is coming up like this. There it goes. And this will reflect on its side. The axis of symmetry is actually located at x equal to 1, wherever that x value is. That's going to be the axis of symmetry. So if it did that there, then it's just going to do the same from this side. Just going to pull up there, and then keep pulling up. All right? Last thing we're going to do is find the x-intercepts. Then we'll have a pretty graph. To find the x-intercept, set y equal to 0 and solve for x. So I'll do that. I'm going to set y equal to 0. x squared minus 2x minus 8. You can solve this with the quadratic formula if you want, but we can factor that. We can factor this. Put an x here and an x here. What's well, two numbers that multiply to negative 8 and add up to negative 2? That would be a negative 4 to 2. Set each one of these equal to 0 and solve these two factors. x minus 4 equals 0. So x equals 4. x plus 2 equals 0. x equals negative 2. So these are our two x-intercepts. At negative 2 and at 4. It intercepts the x-axis. And now we can finish this pretty graph. Whoop. I'll put an arrow. Whoop. I'll put a 
put an arrow. This is a pretty cat. Excuse me, a pretty sketch. And we got symmetry right along x equals to one. And once again, if you can't factor that expression right there, just use quadratic formula. That's it.